Happy very simple man. Yeah. Ah. The big warm fuzzy secret heart. Wow. Oh. Go with monkey like you. <laughs> Go with monkey like you. Go with monkey like you. I love you, whores. As y'all can see from the banner behind me that says happy manhood, this here is a very special day. Jerry lost his virginity. Congratulations, dude. You did no, it. No, I didn't. I mean, I, I did a long time ago. Oh, really? What was his name? Zip it. Today ain't about you two ass bags. It's about a special little guy named Benny. Come over here, you corpse eating some bitch. Why you throw me a manhood party, old man? You always think first dead hooker when boy becomes a man. That's true. But there's different ways to measure manhood. Dead hookers and good old-fashioned calendar years. Today, Benny, you're seven. Benny, seven years old? Oh, I'm old as shit. And before you cross that bridge into man land forever, we got one more piece of boyhood fun. Please let me down. My neck can not take this weight load. Piñatas don't talk, boy. Yeah. <laughs> Demon dogs. Right, my sun sword. Hey, everybody! Do I got the best demographic specific game tester a man could hope for or what? Whatever. Today you're a man, and it's time to go away. Are you going, Mr. Larity? To grave? May I have the honor of killing you? No, boy. When I die, it's gonna be by my own hand, just like my granddaddy. It's you that's going somewhere today. Jump in the caddy. I got a surprise for you. Go away. Hiya! Want to see a magic trick? Hand me that giant bag of stuff I got you. Now watch it disappear. Dude, that was my only weed. If I die in this noose, please pull my pants down and claim it was autoerotic asphyxiation. I want Mother to know that I died nobly. I'm dumping my first hooker, honorable father. No, Benny. The gift I'm giving you is better than a dead naked whore, if you can believe that. <laughs> it's a little thing I like to call freedom. Why you said Benny free? You gonna shoot me in the back? No, boy. It's just that at seven years old, you leave the demographic my game company targets with its inappropriate video games. It ain't that I don't like you, Benny. It's just that I got no more use for you. Yeah. Man, that ejector seat really pays for itself. <laughs> Well, wax my boobies, put a wig on my pecker, and call me Richard Simmons. How the hell did you get back? You'll never get rid of Benny. I'm worse than your herpes. Well, hey, Benny. Hey, shh. Shut your mouth, boy. I hope nobody heard that. I might be high, but you look like Todd. Only gayer and fatter. I said gayer, right? I see it, too. Holy sh Shared hallucinations. Dave, maybe we're meant to be more than just friends. I'm just kidding, of course. Chris, what are you doing here? I didn't know you were back in town. Todd, mi hermano. I miss you, buddy. Holy f Everybody get in here. Todd has a lover and he's bilingual. And it's one of those creepy relationships where they dress and look the same. Like lesbians with penises. <gasps> Hisbians. No, boys bien. Damn it, there has to be a word for this. When I say go f yourself, Todd. I didn't expect you to give birth. Are you another one of Todd's renter friends? <sighs> He's gonna go broke. Can you let me down? With pleasure. <sighs> you okay, brother? Brother? Yes. Toddios is my little brother. Oh my god, Todd is dating his brother. They are les bros. Oh, that word's awesome. I am a genius. Who ordered the big gay juggler? He's not a juggler, but it's true. He's my brother, and he thinks it's cool to deliver papers on a unicycle. What a nerd, right? Is that so? Well, he's right. It is cool, damn it. What's your beat, Unitar? My route is the world. The Himalaya, the Mojave, the Amazon, Detroit, downtown San Jose. I've ridden it all in my day. Ah, damn, that is fascinating. You ever wrote an autobiography? You know, something inspiring, like, uh, like Yes, I Can by Sammy Davis Jr. I can assure you, sir, that Chris's actual life as a paperboy 
is nowhere near as interesting as my own life as a scientist of the imagination. Todd, shut up. Your voice is killing my crotch eggs. Dude, I've got a great idea. Why doesn't Game of Vision make a game about Chris? I think Todd would really like that. That is the opposite of what I would like. Good idea, Davey. We're making a game about this one-wheel news jockey, and that's that. And Fatty, you're the lead developer. I'd love to stay and work with my little bro, but games are Todd's domain, so. Yes, it would be a horrible intrusion. I'll show you a horrible intrusion. Mr. Larity, is this or is this not a family business? Incest is best, right? If I had a sister, I'd bang the hell out of her. And I spilled enough blood to know that it's thicker than water. And a good mixer with scotch. Family should come first. Yes! Unitard News Boy is happening. More for sure than the Mortician Nail Marilyn Monroe. Now get out of my way, dummies. I got to dump an orphan off in the woods. And that ain't no poop joke. Here you go, kiddo. Oh, boy. A sausage necklace for Benny. You bet. And right over there in the woods is a real live teddy bear. And I heard he s cotton candy. Oh, thank you, great leader Larity. Candy machine. Voila, my chocolate loin stick. Dave, Jerry, there you are. May I confide in you? No. Now, the problem is my brother, Chris. Todd, shut up. I know this will be difficult for you to believe, but for some reason, Mother loves him more than she loves me. Even though I am the one who has washed her gray valley low these past five years. <laughs> Todd, that was your fault because you grossed Jerry out. There's nothing but beauty in her folds and crevices and maybe some lint and sometimes loose change. And I'm afraid that if Chris stays here now, I will lose my place in Mother's affections forever. Jerry, let's tag team the machine and see what happens. Thank you for listening. Anytime. Thank you for the bears. They were very good, huh? <laughs> I left the best part for you, great white samurai. Korean tradition say you eat them, you will see the future. I seen it, boy. And you ain't in it. Get over here right now, Benny. I won't get you. Come on. Hey, Todd's brother. Dude, you ever been to Lake Titicaca? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you sad, dumb bastards. Of course I have. I rode across it on a local ped boat called a Peruvian steamer. I'm so high you seem awesome, even though you're related to Todd. I know why your mother loves you better than him. David, no. You were my confidant. Dude, good luck. I've been trying for years, and I still can't make it reach. I missed the entire ninth grade with a fractured neck. Uh, I want me inside me so bad. Uh. Is Todd having a seizure? No, no, he's self-soothing. He's fine. It's it's common among autistics and, and children with Asperger's. An Asperger? It got worse when I left to roam Mother Earth's thighs on my uni. Chris! No one wants to be bored by your boring stories of world travel and exotic conquest. Hey, guess what? They're better than your lame mouth talk, Asperger. Guys, lay off my brother. While he does reek of cheese and bad ideas, he's a totally hip cat in my book. Hey, man, you are so cool. Hey, you want to go huck stuff at cars? Yeah, let's do it. And then I gave my followers important words to live by. I said... If you're gonna do something, do it well. And leave something witchy. Read some more Charles Manson story, Mr. Larity. Make Benny so warm and sleepy. Oh, it's go time, you little Szechuan, sweetie. Wake up time. You can be good, Mr. Larity. <laughs> Here I come, Mr. Larity. <clears throat> All right, little brother. <sighs> Now, see, I set up this unicycle park so you can get an idea of what my intricate movements are for the game. This isn't necessary at all. Let's go inside. What's going on? We're just doing some research, my good and sexy lady. <laughs> You're just like Tony Hawk, only bigger. Oh, yes. Yes, much bigger. Especially in the old baby maker, the old sausage factory, downstairs in the old peeny basement, if you know what I mean. We get it! Now that you know what we're doing, go back inside! F*** you, Todd. Oh, don't worry, Todd. I'm like a fine mayonnaise. I spread deliciously, and everyone may have a taste. There's enough Sir Christopher for everyone! Wow, his toss is so accomplished. Not as accomplished as my toss. <laughs> 
Dino, I think I finally shook Benny. Awesome. I like to shake girls. I shake girls like this. Shake them really hard. What's up? That's a good one, Mr. Lurdy. Now I got sushi. You want some? Whoa. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You no touch. That Korean has wang chunged me for the last time. Yo, Dad, when I was little, you used to say you should have had me adopted. And now I'm finally glad nobody wanted you, because you're a gosh darn genius. We gots to get Benny adopted. You hear that? My dad thinks I'm a genus, a group of organisms that share a common characteristic. What's up? I can't believe you hit a doormat from a hundred yards away. Well, that's not all I can hit. Unicycling really works the mula banda. I've always <laughs> wanted to date a newsboy. It's so hot. So, you think it's hot that Chris was breastfed until he was eight? How hot's that? Yes, mm -hmm. well, I do know my way around a nipple. He pooped his pants at the Christmas pageant! Pooper! I was eight months old. I played the baby Jesus. Oh my god, you're an actor? I pooped my pants many times. Several times, actually. In fact, I'm pooping my pants right now. Oh. Anyone up for a changing? Duh, I'm out of paper. Something in here must work as a pipe. Nice. Just like using an apple, but it tastes like bear thoughts. I'm taking a hit from a bear's head. Man, I really have to get my life together. Why you stupid? Talk so stupid. Ah, did you hear that? The bear's still alive. Right here, stupid Jerry. Why you scream like a girl? What are you doing in here, dude? <laughs> then he's going to get adopted? Live with some family. So sad now. I don't know what to do. Scare the potential parents away, man. How? Just be yourself. Yeah, you're terrifying. Creepy little Asian kids are always scary. There I was. A rabid dog to my left, sprinkler system to my right. What do you sacrifice? A leg or the news? It may seem like a tough choice, but I had a job to do. No, what a hero. Blah, blah, blah. A hero? <laughs> No, no, I'm just a man with some crazy ideas about honor and duty. You must feel the same way about programming. I mean, when you look in the mirror, don't you just feel good? If you must know, only when I am dressed as She-Ra. <laughs> now let's just finish the game, Chris! How about we make level two about delivering papers in India? Because I've got some great stories about a talking tiger and a bear that sang to me. And, and I even have a story about a monkey king. <sighs> Very well. I will immortalize you. Excellent. <laughs> Look, we're laughing together. We're brothers. <laughs> Come here, hug me. Stop it. I'm laughing alone. Woody and Mia, I am so glad y'all came to look at my age. I think there's been some mistake. This cage contains a boy. He's darling. What's wrong with a boy? How am I supposed to marry a boy when he grows up? What? <laughs> it was a joke. <laughs> you lose, old man. <laughs> everyone, gather round. We are gathered, you idiot. I present to you Paper Man, the Oracle. In my game, the paper boy, Chris, is threatened by people and animals hell-bent on killing him. Survival is highly unlikely. Come, Chris, try the game. First play. I am deeply honored, sir. Ha-ha! <laughs> die, paper idiots, die! Let me try. This is insanely hard. Finally! A game that's got some meat to it! Great work, Todd. What do you mean? Your precious paper man is dead! Do you hear me? Dead! I killed him! Exactly. It's dangerous. Just like my life. It it's faster than the high lie I played in the mountains of Portugal, and more thrilling than the boomerang mouth catch I played with Aborigines. I love you, Chris! Fill me Good up! Good job, Chris! This game's gonna be huge! Yeah, yeah you're great! Ooh. Chris! This game is mine! People everywhere are finally going to know the name Chris. You mean Todd? People everywhere are going to know the name Todd! Fatty, you're just the magician. Chris is the real magic. And to send this game off right, I'm going to have Chris do a demonstration to promote wow. it. Wow! Oh my gosh. gosh! I'll show you magic. Sweltered venom sleeping blot. Boil thou first and charm it pot! Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes, that's right. Run from my deadly spell. Gosh, I'm nervous about the demo tomorrow. I mean, being a role model is a big responsibility. Yes, yes, huge responsibility. So, I have prepared a present. Please, look in the closet. Oh, <laughs> come on. You didn't have to give me a present. Look in the closet. Look in the closet. Wow. 
Your doll collection is huge. Uh, why is this one wearing mommy's pantyhose? <laughs> Ow, jeez, oh my god, something accidentally fell on my head. Yes, it, it must have fallen from the ceiling. And it's falling again. <laughs> <laughs> my non-wooden leg. Todd. Yes. Are you dying? Ah, Todd. Oh, there are people out there who expect a demo. Now, the Paperboy Creed is never disappoint a customer. Ah, Todd, you will have to do the demo for me. Errol, ow. Impossible. Please, Todd. There's only one person in the world I can trust with the most important thing in my life. My sack. You would let me hold your sack? Oh, silly. You're my only brother. Of course I would let you hold my sack. I've always dreamed of your sack, slung across my shoulder. Of course you have. Why, we're brothers, aren't we? <laughs> I love you! If I do the demo, then all eyes will be on me. And perhaps Mother will let me move back into her room. I'll do it! Give me a one-wheeled steed! <gasps> Steven Spielberg! Glad you saw my ad! I figured you'd pay top dollar for a real-life China, baby. How you been, amigo? Good, but not great. Got a hot actress for my next movie. Totally going to nail her. Uh, that's the good. But I'm having a heck of a time finding the right Asian kid. That's the not great. Stevie, I am the answer to all your funny talk Jewish prayers. Hey, kid, can you say, hey, lady, call him Dr. Jones? Hey, lady, call him Dr. Jones. Hey, what's the first part? Liking him, not loving him. I have to feel it right here. In your ass? In my wallet, which is in my ass. Oh, color purple blue donkey balls. Okay, not even liking him anymore. Dang it, Benny, I thought I told you to behave. Benny do a lot of bad things in his short life, but I cannot lie about color purple. That's where Benny draw the line. Well, I got to go out and start the dang old festivities, but this adoption thing ain't over. Hey, do you think Chris will sign my copy of the Sunnyvale Herald? Shut up, kid, or I'll sign the sidewalk with your face. Now, where in the hooker's purse is that Chris? I want to see what he can do with that third leg. I hope he's all right. I want to lose my virginity to him. Come on. My other one. The second one. Chris, what happened? <laughs> you mugged an old lady for a wheelchair, right? And then you put your legs in fake casts so people would roll you to chocolate milk. You are a genius, dude. No, I... Look, everyone! It's I, Todd! Venerate me! That's right! Ooh! Ooh! Todd! You can do it, my man, Todd! Damn it! This sucks! Am I getting the hang of it? Victory! I am the paper man now! Oh, watch it! Fireballs! Shut up! Ow, reptile! I'm trying to deliver your paper! You need the news! Thank you! Oh! He's chewing me because I'm delicious! I have to save my little bro. No, Chris, wait, you're hurt! And no one cares about Todd! Uh, I care about Todd. I do not need saving! You're being eaten alive, my brother. Look at them. They love you. What do I have to live for? Just let me die here. <laughs> but get mother so she can watch me expire. No way, buddy. Woo! Woo! Here we go! Watch this! Woo! Doop -de -doop. I'm showboating! This isn't as much fun now that Todd's not dying. Or maybe the weed's wearing off. Now that is a problem we can solve. But we're out of weed. If you use an apple for a pipe, you eat the apple. If you use a bear head for a pipe, you do what? Jerry, sometimes I do not give you enough credit, man. I don't think this is working. Ah, I just bit a tooth. Hi, everyone. Come on, gather around, everybody, even the people I don't know or care about. I just want to say that this has been one of the most amazing weeks of my life. I had a game made about me, and my brother and I grew closer, and I showed my love by saving him from an alligator. But unfortunately, my home is on the road. We're gonna miss you, man. You make being fat in a wheelchair pretty awesome. Dave, do me a favor. Go easy on Todd. Mother screwed him up bad. Really bad. No can do. I have too much respect for you to lie to you. It's gonna get worse for Todd. Much worse. Now, if you'll excuse me, I am going to lube Todd's keyboard and molest it with my wang stick. Ugh. All right, well, that's it for me. Goodbye, all. Yeah! Come on. Yeah! Can somebody give me a jump? 
Now, Benny, I owe you one heck of a doggone apology. You're just a bad person, Mr. Lurty. You can't help it. Well, I'm just glad I took another glance at that memo about the demographic. The top age for the crap I make ain't seven, Benny. It's 17. You talking about another 10 years of At least 10 more, kiddo. And that calls for a real manhood celebration. Have a cigar. Dean, wheel her in. Sorry this ain't no lady, Benny, but this is the only dead prostitute I could come up with on short notice. I'm not dead. I just OD. You're safe now, son. You're safe. Is it okay to poke it with a stick? Poke away, boy. Whee! This manhood is awesome, fantastic! Dang it, there has got to be a lesson in here somewhere. Well, I guess it's like that fist-sized diamond I keistered out of Johannesburg. <laughs> Buried it so deep, I never saw it again. You crazy old son of a bitch. I love you too, son. When you die, Benny digging out that diamond with a switchblade. I hope you do, boy. I hope you do. Downstairs in the old peeny basement.